Non-fungible tokens seem to be taking over the internet. But, um, what are non-fungible tokens? Here are the strange details. Sales of Bored Ape Yacht Club non-fungible tokens have gone past 1 billion US dollars, ramped up by celebrity collectors such as Eminem, prompting more questions than ever about NFTs. Business Insider reports NFTs are digital representations of artwork or other collectibles tied to a blockchain, a digital record of ownership stored across many different computers, mostly on Ethereum's network. When people buy NFTs, they are buying the rights to a unique token within the blockchain. These tokens function as a place to store financial value, but unlike dollars or bitcoins, where equivalent individual monetary units have the exact same value, each NFT has its own distinct value, like an old house or a classic car. In the case of Bored Ape Yacht Club, for instance, there are 10,000 apes, each with different properties ranked in terms of rarity. Behind this combination of digital art and blockchains is an attempt to create artificial digital scarcity. The blockchains are used to tie down digital assets' origins, which allows ownership to be proven and thus limited, which tends to increase value. This ownership is not necessarily very wide-ranging at all, with the artwork's copyright, the right to make it available or unavailable to the world at large, often not a part of the token's purchase, according to the conversation. But The Verge sums the concept's apparent financial appeal like this. Anyone can buy a Monet print, but only one person can own the original. Of course, a Monet print is nowhere near as beautiful as the original, whereas a digital copy of a file can precisely match the original in every way, but that appears not to be the point. Rather, it appears essentially to be about creating prestige value through ownership in an almost abstract sense, which can then be traded for financial gain. One effect of doing that with artworks is that it helps speed up the walling off of the internet, for better or worse, depending on who you ask. And it is no surprise to see that the concept already has strong links to online gaming, where money-making schemes have long dominated user experiences. A blockchain is a digital database managed by a decentralized network of computers. The blockchain records transactions chronologically and publicly, distributing data through a peer-to-peer -peer network hosted by millions of computers makes it far less vulnerable to hackers than a centralized network and protects files from getting lost. When a user requests the transaction on the blockchain, it is broadcast to the peer-to-peer -peer network of computers, known as nodes. The nodes validate the transaction, then combine it with other transactions to create a new block of data for the digital database. That block, which is both permanent and unalterable, is then added to the existing blockchain and the transaction is completed. The most well-known type of blockchain transactions probably involves cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, which has a value token called Ether. More than 900 cryptocurrencies are currently traded on the internet, and the market is notoriously volatile. Blockchain technology can also be used to record transactions for digital information, or records like land rights and medical files. It may also have a huge impact on the Internet of Things. After becoming the world's first country to recognize Bitcoin as legal tender Wednesday, El Salvador plans to build Bitcoin mining factories that use geothermal energy from beneath its volcanoes, according to Reuters. Our engineers just informed me that they dug a new well that will provide approximately 95 megawatts of 100% clean, zero-emissions geothermal energy from all volcanoes, El Salvador's president wrote on Twitter, before adding that the country was starting to design a full Bitcoin mining hub around it. Bitcoin is administered by a decentralized network of computers, according to Bitcoin.org. New Bitcoins are created when those computers solve algorithms, which ensure existing Bitcoin transactions are secure from fraud. However, the process is energy-intensive, and other countries are looking to move away from cryptocurrency mining. A recent crackdown in China, the world's largest cryptocurrency mining location, has seen mines ordered to shut down in Xinjiang and Qinghai, according to the South China Morning Post. The BBC reports that if Bitcoin was a country, it would be in the top 30 energy consumers in the world. Additionally, the Bitcoin industry's total carbon dioxide emissions equal the exhaust from around 9 million cars, according to a March report by Bank of America, cited by Reuters. According to CNBC, JP Morgan Chase announced it would be launching its own cryptocurrency called the JPM coin, which has a fixed value redeemable for $1. The coin is designed to be used by big institutional customers such as corporations, banks and broker-dealers rather than individuals. According to the bank's head of blockchain projects, the digital token is meant to speed up international payments, 
which traditionally take a day or more to settle via wire transfer. It can also be used for securities transactions and treasury services. When clients want to move dollars on the bank's quorum blockchain system, money in their accounts is converted to JPM coins. According to Fox Business, the tokens are transferred and instantaneously redeemed for the equivalent amount of dollars. Ripple is both a payment network and a cryptocurrency. It uses blockchain technology, but is differentiated from other platforms by its ties with legitimate financial institutions. Ripple's currency is known as XRP and is not mined by users. The company has control, initially creating 100 billion coins, with 38 billion currently in circulation. Other cryptocurrencies have a stored value and can be used to buy goods and services. But XRPs mainly cover transaction fees as an anti-spam measure and are destroyed soon after. Ripple's main purpose is to facilitate global money transfers. Banks take three to five days to process cross-border payments, but transactions on the Ripple network are cleared in only four seconds. The Japan Bank Consortium is set to release MoneyTap, a Ripple-powered smartphone app that will allow customers to settle transactions in real time. The country's current system for cash transfers is limited. Transactions can only be processed on weekdays from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. and comes with high fees. With MoneyTap, customers can make payments and transfers using only a bank account, phone number, or QR code. Transactions go through the cloud-based Ripple Connect platform. Processing is instant and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for a fraction of the normal cost. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.